Oh man, Walnut Ridge Disc Golf Course today. This is gonna be a beautiful track. I've been here one or two times and I kid you not, when I think of a disc golf course, this is the type of place that I think of. And hopefully you guys will agree and I'll be able to show you that today. It'll start out here in the open a little bit, but then we'll get into the woods where that true disc golf is. Play the short tees today because I suck. I'm just kidding. Well, kind of. Looks like 243 feet, par three. I'll try to keep my score the best I can. You know, sometimes when I play on my own, it's hard for me to keep score because I throw so many discs. But for the sake of this video, I'll try my best. Honestly, I'm just excited to play a new course and I hope you guys are excited to see a new course. We got 243 feet here, straight, slightly off to that right side. I'll probably throw three off one here. This first one, hopefully just a warm up shot. Yeah, I'd say that's a warm up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say that I'm good now. I'm good to go. Keep it low, high back leg. That's what uh, Paul says. Oh, didn't get to turn on that one. Would've been beautiful though. What do you think, classic warden? <laughs> Definitely could, could have done it. Just need a little bit of turn on that. Oh yeah, baby. We love that. We love that. Hole two looks like it's gonna be 235 feet. This one kind of bends around the corner here. Relatively straight though. I'm gonna try to go Zeus on a little bit of a turnover. If that has a distance, that could be really good, but I think it's short because I threw it too low. Oh baby, we're starting off hot. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be uh, way short, but I guess it just looks further from back there. U-Disc says 250 on this one. This one's sitting right out there in the middle. I don't know if this is a big hyzer or a big anheuser. What do you guys think? Let me know what you would throw here. Honestly, it's probably a better shot for me to go hyzer here. So we'll just take a Zeus on that right side. Medium stability, because I do need it to get left. Oh, that's gonna be too low again. All right, so we got a case of the lows. Oh, I wish I brought my pitch. I've been trying to work on these throw-ins. We'll try Luna. Just a little too far for my jump putt if I want to make it. A little too wide. I'll be honest with you, if I threw this in, I probably would have just left because that means we would have started way too hot and the rest of the round would have sucked. Guaranteed. Kind of left a little meat on the bone there. Kind of, kind of got scared I was going to bogey. Now we got to walk a mile and a half because I believe we go into the woods now, which is where it's going to get fun. A lot more technical lines, if I remember correctly, which should be fun and should be a nice little challenge for us. Hole six, you just has this one at 266 feet. Can I have this left gap where you can throw a forehand or maybe a little backhand turnover or you can contest on the right side, a little bit of a smaller gap. Obviously, I think we're gonna go for this left gap with a buzz. I, I kinda wanna throw a fairway though. I'm gonna try to hit it with a leopard actually. Should feel a little bit more confident. Wrong leopard, now I got the right one. Heck yeah, we missed it. Sit, sit. All right, we got a putt. I don't know how we missed that tree, but we got lucky. If my friend Paul's watching. Shout out the leopard. He really, really wants that leopard and I'm not gonna give it to him. I didn't get this one turned over all the way so I literally left myself right behind this tree. Oh, Max. That's usually what I do to be honest with you. Hole five here, 355, par three. This one bends all the way to the right, I believe. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw a nice little turnover and probably play this for par just because I'm not certain the shot shape considering I've only played this course one other time and that was probably two years ago. I still have the case of the lows. <laughs> I have thrown all of my drivers low today. No idea how I did it, but we have an inside the circle look. After seeing the hole and actually walking up the fairway, it's better to get it low because if you can crest the hill, this actually comes back downhill. So if you're too high, you'll end up hyzering way left. Now this was a lucky shot, but that is kind of the, the shape and height you, you kind of want. Yes, it snuck in there. I can't believe that caught. I was also a little bit right side. I was definitely a lucky birdie. Didn't really know what I was doing there. Gotta love this, 190 feet, slightly uphill, straight in front of you. Let's go. A little five time action ESP, little baby hyzer, let it fade to it. 
Oh, Max, you idiot. Should've just went straight at it. <laughs> Luckily, we still got a little long putt at it. Obviously, not what you want on a hole like this, but sometimes you gotta take what the course gives you. <laughs> oh, so close. Now I think we get to throw a bomber downhill. Wonder if we can reach it. Beautiful shot here, straight downhill. T sign coming in at 410 feet. Still a difficult shot though, because you have OB on the left. You know what though? I feel like if we throw hyzer over this stuff, we might be able to get a 20 footer or so. I don't know. I think we're gonna try it though. I like it. I like it at all. Oh wait, why is it drifting? I'm in the stuff. Why? That is like my medium stability usually does not go right and that started to go right. Literally right behind everything. There's no look here. In fact, it's not even an easy up and down to get par. I'm just kind of hoping that lands by the basket. Thought I was playing smart. Now I have this putt for par. I literally got a total of 15 feet. <laughs> That was the ugliest thing I could have ever done. Gotta try to forget about that stupid bogey there. Hole eight, looks like uh, 319 or 240, par three. I think this one's just up in, in that right side. All right, Udisc is saying it's 320, which means I'm gonna go leopard three instead of buzz. No. Oh. A little bit happy it hit that tree because I would have ended up in that stuff. At least from here we can get up and down, theoretically. <laughs> If you have been enjoying the content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me. We're nearing 5,000 and we're definitely gonna do a giveaway at 5K. I'm not sure what that looks like yet, but it's gonna be something good, I promise. Now we got this putt for par. Definitely don't want to be taking two bogeys in a row. There we go. This looks like a pretty tough hole right here. If you're playing longs, it'd be even tougher. Holy moly. All right, so this one looks like it bends off to the right side. We have a good... 359 feet so by now you guys probably know nice little Zeus pretty flat and see if we can get it to go right <sighs> keep going keep going oh it just came out a little early it's like I needed one less click of stability for that to just hold over this is another one maybe I should just be trusting my fairway game instead of going such a high-speed driver <sighs> why is that so high kind of slipped out of my hand See the water coming off of that? One thing I hate about playing in the morning, dewy grass. Okay guys, after nine holes, three birdies, one bogey, sitting at two under. We got hole 10 here, looking like 405. Look how beautiful this fairway is, come on. I'm gonna try to go big Z Hades. Nope. I'm throwing another one, just for fun. How'd that get all the way through there? <laughs> the life of an amateur player. Some of the stuff you guys unfortunately have to see because sometimes I can be bad disc golf. <clears throat> Sit down. Well guys, I did not know that there was a big hill back here. <sighs> all right. Please stop the bleeding. Look where the Zeus got though. Holy smokes. That was a perfect shot there. Of course it was my second shot and I just double bogeyed this. Back to even. Why did I go Hades? And why did I throw it so poorly? That's pretty normal for me. At least one blow up hole each round. I definitely didn't think it was gonna be on this hole but when you throw that poor of a drive and that bad of up shots, that's what's gonna happen. So that puts us right back to even. After a pretty good start to the front nine, we are lacking right now but it's about how you keep your composure and bring it all back together. So that's what we're gonna do. We're definitely ending this day off in the negatives. Hole 11, 266. Looks like this one just bends off to the left side. I'm gonna try and go Luna here. I don't know if I should go mid-range or putter, but we'll try to hit the line with a putter. <sighs> oh, but it, oh my goodness. That just got the worst redirection ever. I think we're all the way down this hill now. I just need to put it on hyzer. I hit the line. 
but I threw it straight. Probably should have went buzz there. <laughs> Guys, I hit one of these trees and just soared down this hill. So I'll get back with you whenever I get up here. I'm trying to give this a full run downhill. Hopefully it doesn't roll if I miss it. <laughs> it's too far for me. Three strokes and two holes. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the fact that I threw Luna there and I should have thrown Buzz. So bad choice in discs. That's what I'm going with. This place kind of tricks you because the beginning is relatively easy and then that's when you get into the woods where you can definitely have some blow up holes. Especially if you're playing longs. I keep walking past the long pads and they look terrifying. I should probably play them one day just for the fun of it, but they look tough. And the course isn't really letting up. 340 dog leg right. Um, I'm gonna try to go sidewinder and see if we can get this turned over the whole way. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's so stable. I thought I threw that perfect. Wow, Anheuser straddle putt. Just because I couldn't get the sidewinder turned over the entire time. And I can't keep my putter turned over either. I have no idea where I'm going on this one. This one says it's 406 feet. So on this one, there's a pedestal on the left side with the basket on it. I think I'm gonna try to throw Hades. <laughs> That's pretty good rip. Oh my goodness, I threw it long. So I think we can get to it. I'm, why did I not change the camera placement? I apologize. <laughs> get it. Yes. We needed that one. Let's go, baby. It's the way you bounce back, guys. It's the way you bounce back. Let's continue with this momentum, because we need it. In all honesty, that is not one I expected to birdie. That's almost like a bonus birdie for me, so let's go. That puts us right back to even, staying on track for at least an under par round. That's the goal. Right down the gut, guys. Little baby fade when you get through the gap. I'm thinking Luna. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass like it did last time. But really, I just want to keep throwing this because I want to get better at it. Heck yeah. Oh no, is it too far? Come on, sit. Boom, baby. Bouncing back. We're bouncing back. Let's go. We're bouncing back, people. Hole 15 says it's 364, tight tunnel gap we have here. Uh, and it says it's a par four. So seems like a really short par four, but maybe we'll find out why when we get down there. Okay, well the T sign says it's in A, so maybe it's just a par three. If it was in B, it would be 430 as a par four. I'm just gonna try to lace one right down the center with a leopard and then get up and down for par. That's the goal here. Oh, dude. I am barely off on these lines. Oh, this would have landed so far up there too. <sighs> scoot and boogie, scoot and boogie. Nope, short. Dang it. Try to play it safe and we still took a bogey. Hole 16, we have a par four here, relatively short at 435 feet. It's up there on the left, but I think I'm gonna throw a meat hook of a shot on this right side and let it fade. And then we'll have, hopefully, a pretty routine up and down for birdie. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So I hope that works. So yeah, kind of a perfect tee shot here. Now we can go right at this basket. <laughs> Pulled it a little, but it got around and we should be parked for birdie. A Little bit lucky. Hole 17 here though, it says it's a par three, 323 feet, dog leg right, like straight down there. How you get to it, I have no idea. I don't need to be this dumb, but we're gonna try it. Roll low, see if we can get down there. <laughs> Dude, why does it hit that? Come on, just let me have it for once. I'll tell you right now, that's not a scoring play, that is a YouTube play. That's what that is. That's me trying to do something fancy and getting screwed on it. Dude, dude, that was magical. I hope that stopped. That was beautiful. Are you kidding me? Certified roller thrower. That's what we're calling me now. From now on, certified roller thrower. I can't believe how good this was. Did something stupid off the tee, but still able to get a par. And this is what you end on, a par three that's just straight up the gut. Nice tunnel to hit. We're gonna go buzz, you just calls it 266. Man, I didn't get any turn out of it. 
That's fine though, it's down there. This will be for two under. Worst case, it's a par and we still end under par. Get it. <sighs> Player two for the win. That right there is gonna do it for us. Walnut Ridge, we ended at negative one. On the back nine, I took a double and two bogeys with three birdies. Wow, what a track. That's what the pros say, what a track. What a fun course this was. Even from shorts, they got it well planned out. Sometimes with short pads, you never know what you're actually gonna get, but this is a beautiful course. When I think of disc golf, I'm thinking of a course like this, open holes and tight wooded holes. Let me know if you guys have ever been here down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in the next one.